One of the occupational hazards of continually using the hammer can be the achy bones you get at the end of a hard day. Now this is due to vibration and what traditionally happens is you hit the nail and uh, the vibration travels down the hammer into your wrist, elbow, shoulder, small of the back. That's where you get your aches and pains. And obviously, the more you do it, the more it can obviously play up. Now, Stanley have addressed this problem in a very unique way. They've created a two-piece hammer. After a day first fix with an ordinary hammer, my arm would be solid, and, you know, real strain and muscle fatigue in my arm there. But with this, you just don't get that same fatigue, the same ache and the same strain in the wrist as you would with an ordinary hammer. It's, it's quite a revelation, really. I'd happily use this all day, every day, really. No ill effects at all. Love it, brilliant piece of kit. How does it work? Well, first of all, you have the strike face and the claw, the head of the hammer here, which is completely separate from the main metal shaft that runs through the centre of this. Now what they have is they have a dampening jacket that goes over the top here and this acts as a big shock absorber between the two materials. So the metal parts of this hammer aren't actually touching each other because you have the dampener in between. Now the weight of the hammer, this is a 14 ounce hammer. Now because it's lighter, you can obviously swing the hammer quicker and it gives the same power output as using the 20 ounce hammer out of the 14 ounce hammer. Even though it's only a 14 ounce hammer, I can hit with the same force as a 20 ounce hammer because it's lighter. It's just a nice weight. I don't like hammers that are massively heavy or too long. I just find them unwieldy. But that's a, it's a nice, comfortable hammer, easy to use. And at the end of the day, your arm doesn't feel like it's falling off. Now, if your sight's a little bit wayward, they've actually thought of that as well. And they've put metal strike plates to the front and to the rear of the hammer just to protect the jacket that covers it down the shaft there. Good job, Stanley.